In this video, we're going to talk about how I am able to transition songs smoothly on Virtual DJ. Hey, welcome back. In case you're new here, my name is Steve. I am a DJ and a tutor here on YouTube, helping people like you on how they can level up and become a professional DJ with just their computer. Well, before we even start, keep this in mind. When you take care of your transitions, you take care of the crowd. Keep that in mind as a DJ. So to achieve smooth transitions on Virtual DJ, there are five key steps that you need to take before you start mixing for your crowd or for your audience. First of all, you have to know how to set cue points on your tracks or you have to set cue points on your tracks. So to set cue points on your tracks, Load the song that you will want to play and then play it and hear where you will exactly want to set the cue point. For example, like this. So for me, how I set my cue points, I first check the song and then I select the point where I want to start the song from. Like for this song, I will set my cue point there. I'll just click Ctrl 1 on the keyboard to set the cue point. Or I'll come to the hot cue pad here and then I'll select Q1 on the pad section here. So that is how you set hot cues or cue points on your tracks. You can set as many cue points as possible so that you'll be able to jump from one song point to another using the cue points that you have set so that is the first step you need to know before you start to transition songs on virtual dj the second one is you have to know how to beat match your songs on virtual dj so to beat match songs you have to first understand and master the BPMs of the songs that you're playing. So, to beat match songs, first of all, check out the BPM. Like, for example, the BPM of this song here on deck A is 97, and then the song here on deck B has a BPM of 96.04. So, for me to smoothly transition this song or blending this song to the first song playing on deck a i will have to beat match my song on deck b to the one playing on deck a so how to beat match you can come and click on sync here to beat match the songs or to match the bpms once i click on it you can see here the bpm of the song I have on deck B matches with the BPM of the song on deck A so that it will be very easy for me to mix my songs or blend them together so the third step or guide is you have to know how to control the volume of your songs or the volumes of the tracks that you're playing for example if I want to blend in the song from deck B to the one playing on deck A, I'll have to first control the volume of the song that is playing. I may, I may want to lower it by some percentage. For example, when I'm playing, I lower a bit of this volume of deck A like this. And then I drop in the song in deck B. Check this out. Girl, I like to say your boom boom chow. See go, see go, now let's zoom zoom now. And then the fourth step that you have to keep in mind or know as a trick is that most DJs use sound effects to cover up 
the mistakes that they make during transitioning that the audience or the crowd will never notice when they use the sound effects that they have for example if you are transitioning you can first play the sound effect or after transitioning just immediately after tra after transitioning you click on your favorite sound effect to just make the blending or the transitioning sound very very good and nice for the audience or the crowd so this is how you can do it And then the fifth step or guide you have to keep in mind to transition songs smoothly is that you need to know how to loop your songs, okay? Looping is very easy when you set cue points, okay? Set the cue points and then whenever you want to loop your song, you just click on the button you've set on the keyboard to loop a song. You have to know how loop works. For example, here the loop is at two. I can increase the loop or reduce the loop as long as it sounds good to me and the crowd. Okay, so that is how you can use the loop deck effect to transition songs on your virtual dj so to learn the steps into details i've linked all the videos for the steps in the description below you can check them out or you can click on the playlist on screen here